When the Vision of Community Learning Center started about a decade ago, I don't think any of us imagined it would grow like this and look so varied. So there's just so much variety and so many partners, and that's what really makes our Community Learning Center special. What we decided several years ago, the board did, is that children flourish the best when, when school and neighborhood act in partnership and when school and the greater community act in partnership. And so we developed community learning centers so that our children could get everything that they needed at the school site and our families could also get things that they needed at the school site. Schools could, should be the center of a community and part of community learning centers is helping to make that happen. So one thing we're doing specifically here at Roberts is we're building on a hillside behind me a food forest, which is taking uh, the idea of small lettuces herb garden and blowing that up to larger forest architecture. So fruit trees, fruit shrubs, little fruit, um, vegetable, all that kind of stuff. And what you need to make something that's productive as a food system survive is you need other beneficial plants. You need a large and diverse community of plants there. I think a lot of the things that are happening here um, show community members, school members, it's all one and the same. That community members go to the school. Um, the school is always reaching out to the community in various efforts. So I think a lot of those lines are blurring and there's a lot more uh, diversity and inter this connection between those two things and, and strength because of that. To me, that community learning center in itself kind of gets you back to the village that raises the child. You have so many different components in the school and such access to different things. One of the great things about a community learning center, it's an opportunity for lots of people who care about children to come together and coordinate services in an, in an awesome way. So in a meeting, you'll find someone who is the head of a corporation next to a parent. And the only thing that they have in common is that they want to do something for kids. So what we do as a resource what I do as a resource coordinator and as a community learning center is that we pull these folks together and we start talking and we figure out ways to best affect the kids. You have bus drivers, you have doctors, you have dentists, you have lawyers, you have all people working. You have, a, you have access to so much just in the school building and then you have the kids here and you have the parents here and you have the teachers. So everything's already in the school, you just got to make it work. Uh, I think it's essential for every community to have a school that is an asset in the community. Uh, you don't want the school to be a liability and you feel like it's just there, it's not beneficial to uh, anyone in the community. So having a community learning center, I think it changes the whole atmosphere of the community. You have an opportunity for the people in the community, um, the kids, the staff, the everyone to become on one page so that we all have this goal and the goal is to always make the community better. And making the community better would mean that, would mean that we have the kids doing very well at school, um, they respect where they live. Um, they begin to know all of the assets that are around them. Like we have the garden, um, we have Finley Market. Uh, we now have Vine Street, all the opportunities, new restaurants, uh, Venice on Vine. We have all of these opportunities for the kids to learn about where they live and why it's important for them to go to school and learn so that they become productive citizens. So as we at the school groom the kids, get them ready, educate them to be a part of the community, the community is blessed by that. So it's a win-win for everybody. So with the school being here also, it's open for the community to use. So if they have meetings, that they want to have if they want to use the gym to come and work out and have basketball leagues uh, we'll have a rooftop garden that'll be open for the community to use where we'll be um, planting food and flowers and opportunities for people to just come into this place and it becomes their own so when it becomes everybody has a vested interest in the school being good then it, it helps everybody we have several families that have actually relocated to rent or purchase homes um, right across the street because they wish to be active participants in all the activities that occur here on site. Parent involvement in the classroom is showing that we're working as a whole, parents and teachers, not only helping my children succeed, 
but other children in the classroom. We're working as a community so that these children can get to where they need to be in life. The Community Learning Center is actually a member of the East Price Hill Business Alliance as well as the Youth and Education Community Action Team. So folks from the Community Learning Center have been really involved with other businesses, other organizations in the neighborhood. We've been able to develop some real strong partnerships and get some things done in the neighborhood. What makes it unique? It's an opportunity for the community to engage in the learning process in our school. As a school, we have a wide variety of partners that help us meet our mission, which is academic achievement. We have community partners that help us in the area of fine arts. We have community partners in the area of health and wellness, math, science, and technology, as well as community partners that come in and help work with our parents uh, with adult education. With us had now having a family practitioner in our health center along with a full-time nurse, we have seen increase in our attendance. We have seen a drop in student illnesses along with, since they have an outreach program, a drop in some medical issues that may be occurring in their homes or in their living spaces that we've been able to assist, which then improves the health of the entire city. I have seen solid results in what my children are learning. They're scoring high on their OAA test. Um, their grades, as far as homework, are phenomenal. They're getting A's. He's doing more reading, doing much more reading. Um, math, a lot more math, and a lot more science. The math came up a lot. His reading is a whole lot much better because he was struggling in reading. And he got, some, get, got a couple of reading awards that they pass out to the kids to do so much reading in the books, and he made it. He got two gold medals. <laughs> um, they're excited about coming to school and learning new things, um, subjects that I wasn't really excited about in school, like science. The kids are really excited about it, um, and I think that also has to do with the excellent teachers here as well. It's important to have an international welcome center in school to make the parents welcome to make sure that the parents will be able to access to different resources in the community, to be a support for the parents and for the school in other needs that, that the community has. What we're seeing is that there's a lot of children from different neighborhoods that are coming to the Summer Stars program that now they're all interacting and then they're interacting with our children that we have on a drop-in basis. So I think a lot of these children really didn't get a chance to meet all the kids that were actually in this neighborhood Plus, they're meeting new individuals and learning how to interact and making new friends. The after school program is near and dear to my heart because my kids have gotten so much social activity through the after school program that they have met so many friends in this school from kindergarten to sixth grade. Even when they're kindergartners, they know some sixth graders and then they know they see familiar faces, they feel like they're part of something, and they feel at home in this building and we did go to an after school program out of this building and it was okay but when they were in this building they feel like they're a part of the school we feel a part of the school and the parents of the after school kids actually kind of like band together and chat with each other and meet each other and we all um, we just really have fought for this program because we really believe in the kids being here and being safe and not being transported and they're happy and they give them all sorts of variety of activities and they're um, they're just really, it's really given them a sense of pride in the school. We have partners that provide um, academic support like Gear Up who provides uh, services in the classrooms and after school. We also have partnerships with universities, with the local universities where we do wonderful, wonderful things. I take math, science, reading at the Community Learning Center. In science class, I learned about independent variables and dependent variables, the scientific method, and Bloom's taxonomy. In math, we learned working on unit rates and rates and ratios. And in reading, we are working on how to print, um, make a sentence make, make sense, like um, interjections and um, independent and dependent clause. I, for science, I like to become a pediatrician nurse. And it's not having to do with school, but I want to be a gymnast and a, um, a manager of a company.
this building is spectacular. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's everything anybody would want for their child to be a part of. The computer labs and just the hardwood floors and, and the floor, just everything that exuberates that you have pride in who you are and that it's important for the community and the people that come back, they feel that sense of pride. Um, they're excited about the opportunities that will come because we're, we're open till 4.30 um, with the kids having an after school program. But we also have now, since we've been here, we have the community meetings that they go on till 7.30 at night. We're getting calls about we would like to use the gym for activities. So I think it's just gonna send this whole sense of we are over the Rhine. Um, this is our community school. It is, it is who we are, it's who we've become, and we're proud of where we're going.